Yeah, who just raised $9.7 billion in the Alibaba IPO. But how will the internet media giant spend its pile of cash? There's much speculation that they'll pour a lot of that money into advertising tech investments. Corey Johnson still with me. What do you think about Yahoo, the speculation that the money that they've made from Alibaba, they're going to spend it on ad tech? Well, I mean, that's, that's the big question, right? It is, is why are they seeing advertising results fall uh, quarter after quarter after quarter? And is it a technology situation or maybe the whole thing is just being done wrong? Josh Stein is still with us from DFJ. And I know you've, you've done a lot of ad tech investments. Yep. What's going on there? Uh, you know, I, I, I think of Yahoo as a place where a lot of brands are advertised. The banner ad is something they've been the king of for so long. Yep. Google, of course, has moved in there now. But um, is, I, I don't really understand the technologies beneath that. Yeah, I mean, Yahoo has what I call a high-class problem, right? They've been a holding company for Alibaba. They just realized about $6 billion after tax, but they have a business that's flat, and they got to get that growth going. So if you look at the market, for the Internet advertising market, you got search. It's number one and the biggest. Google dominates that. You have social. That's Facebook and Twitter. And you have brand. Brand is big. It's about $15 billion. But it's always underperformed expectations. So if you look at brand on the internet. What do you mean by brand? So brand advertising, display advertising. So cars, movies, Coca-Cola. Things, things that you're not going to click through and buy, but we're trying. the brands are trying to get your engagement, get your attention. So TV is the big medium for brand advertising today. The NFL all by itself is like $6 billion because the NFL gets your attention. When you're watching, you actually feel that resonance with the brand. The internet has fallen down on delivering the results for advertisers historically. Was that because the measurement's wrong? I mean, the thing about brand is like, it's, it, you know, I used to, Ann Moore was a publisher of yep. People when I worked there a thousand years ago. Yeah. And she used to say, you know, it's, it's fundamentally about belief. You have to just believe that advertising works. You can't measure it. I, I totally agree. I think the problem is we've been measuring the wrong thing. So people are measuring clicks and page views. And that's like uh, assuming that all audiences are the same on TV. The NFL doesn't just have more viewers. They have viewers that are paying more attention, that are more engaged. So one of the hottest companies in our portfolio is a company called Chartbeat, which is trying to fix exactly that. Chartbeat is the first technology that lets you actually directly measure attention, not just page views and clicks. Now, Chartbeat is a company that you say disproves most of what we take as fact in the yeah. advertising industry. Like what? Well, I'll give you an example. So brand, uh, brands have gotten sick of banner ads. There's a sense that banner ads don't work. It turns out banner ads can actually work great if you put them in the right places, if you put them in front of audiences that are engaged and that care about the content example. they're reading. Uh, so, you know, we all know that there's clickbait articles. You know, it's 10 things you won't believe about your pet, 10 shocking facts. People right. click on those all the time, but they just bounce right off. They don't pay any attention. Versus a much more in-depth article that people care about that they're scrolling down and reading for 10 or 15 minutes. That's Say where you want your ad to be. Broadcast exactly. Um, that's can't it. turn that, your eyes away from that. That's it. So Chartbeat helps you find those audiences and lets you put the ads against that. They're working with but like 80%. What is Chartbeat? Disprove. Well, so I'm a VC. My job is to allocate capital. Mm -hmm. What Chartbeat is showing is it's not that you can't do successful brand advertising on the internet. It's that the capital has been misallocated. It's been spread like peanut butter over everything. And if you actually allocate it correctly, you can actually deliver exceptional results. So you should allocate it, it to good content, in-depth content not these listicles. And exactly, and exactly right. And the trick is knowing where the, where the people are actually engaging and paying attention, and that's what Sharpie can measure. They measure the entire audience in real time, pixel by pixel, and they're doing it now for about 80% of the major publishers on the web, this including really, Bloomberg. This is really bad news for BuzzFeed, uh, you know, for what you're talking to somebody to start, really bad news for demand media. These sites that are getting lots of clicks but you're saying that those are sort of, it's like, it's like a... Except that BuzzFeed is trying to evolve its model to do more in-depth. Yeah, I mean, is this I, why? I, I think that is why. I think that what you're gonna, I think that you're gonna find that brands do not find sites like that very good for building the engagement they're looking for. I think performance advertising, where you're trying to get through someone to click through and actually buy something, might work on those sites. But if you're Coca-Cola or if you're a movie and you're trying to get awareness, that's not where you want to be advertising. That's interesting because I, I wonder if that really changes a lot of the models and, and indeed the valuations on those companies because we've seen. People get a lot of interest in those companies. We're even seeing, you know, the, there's a sort of notorious uh, 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 email that went around at the New York Times where there, where some of the executives are saying, "Hey, look at all the clicks BuzzFeed is getting. Mm -hmm. The New York Times needs to be more like BuzzFeed." So the very nature of journalism is changing to respond to those clicks that you're saying are just are low calorie or high calorie, low food value. Uh, sites that are consuming time but not actually consuming interest. Yeah, I think the good news here is it's not a zero-sum game. By getting the, the ads where they're supposed to be and getting the better results, I think you're going to see dollars flow finally from TV into the Internet. So I think the whole pie is going to grow as a result. There's going to be winners and losers, but I think it's going to make the whole pie bigger. So our what next segment is the family...
10 most annoying things about Corey Johnson. <laughs> we, we're not going to do that now? Wait. Then we'll get a lot of clicks. Team. What are you talking about? I know. It's what I have to do at the end of the show. She's paring it down. <laughs> but quickly, what about video and streaming video? Yeah. Obviously, I have a selfish, selfish interest in, in, in knowing how video can capture more brand advertising dollars, but it has been historically difficult. People still want to put their money in television, even though that might not be where the eyeballs are. Yeah, I think video has its own unique set of challenges. Chirpied is actually coming out just now and alpha testing with its video products. Um, it's a different set of technology, but I think many of the same things hold true. You've got to find where are people really engage, where are they paying attention. For brand advertising, if the person doesn't really see the ad and engage with it, it's just wasted money. So next week there's a big ad week conference in New York. Yeah. All the big sort of ad tech companies will be there. A lot of the big advertisers are going to be there. All those people walking around the hallways, what are they going to be wrong about? Um, I think what they're going to be wrong about is they're going to be continuing to plow their money into search and into social. I think social in particular is great for driving traffic, but if you are a brand advertiser and brand advertising in the real world off, off the internet is more than half, you're going to want to focus on engagement and attention, not just on clicks, not on shares. Interesting. Right. There's hope. Josh Stein, Draper Fitcher Jervison, thanks so much for joining us. We'll be right back with more of Bloomberg West after this quick.